Solenoids are electromechanical devices which convert electrical energy into linear mechanical energy. Two types of solenoids are most often used to shift industrial hydraulic valves. They are the air gap type and the wet armature type. An air gap solenoid consists of a wire coil surrounded on three sides by a C-shaped iron frame. Both frame and coil are often encapsulated in plastic for protection. An iron rod, or plunger as it's called, is inserted through the hole in the coil. When voltage is applied to the coil, a strong inrush current develops a powerful magnetic field, drawing the plunger into the coil and moving a push pin. The push pin moves or shifts the valve spool. When the spool moves, the plunger seats in the coil and current drops to a much lower holding level, just high enough to hold the spool in place. If the plunger fails to seat for any reason, current will remain at the higher inrush level, and the coil will eventually burn out. Wet armature solenoids work similarly. However, the solenoid tube is screwed into the valve body, and fluid from the system surrounds the plunger. When voltage is applied, high inrush current creates a strong magnetic field that pushes the plunger against the push pin. As with an air gap solenoid, current drops from the higher inrush level to the lower holding level as the plunger seats and shifts the spool. Solenoids sometimes fail, and when they do, it's usually because of blockage of the spool, because of high temperatures around the solenoid or because of low voltage. Blockage usually occurs when the spool cannot move freely. Often this is due to some kind of contamination, silt in the valve or varnish on the spool, for example. Sometimes spools will stick because the valves are improperly mounted on slightly warped or damaged subplates. If the spool does not move freely, the plunger in the solenoid will be unable to seat properly. The high inrush current will not drop to the lower holding level and the solenoid will eventually burn out. If air temperature around the solenoid is too high, the coil may not be able to dissipate the heat it generates, even when current is at the lower holding level. The insulation on the coil windings may age rapidly and the coil will short out. Low voltage may also cause solenoids to fail. At low voltages, the coil may not develop enough magnetic pull to seat the plunger and move the spool as quickly as it should. Until the plunger does seat properly, inrush current will continue to be high. Again, the coil may get so hot it will burn through its insulation and short out. A solenoid generates a relatively small force, so it can be used only with relatively small valves. Typically, these are half-inch valves or smaller, handling a maximum of 20 gallons per minute. When larger size valves are to be electrically actuated, they are usually piggybacked by a smaller valve. The smaller valve mounted directly on the larger valve is operated with solenoids. The hydraulic output of the smaller valve operates the larger valve. Valves like this are called solenoid-controlled, pilot-operated directional control valves. Control of the pilot valve is by solenoid, and movement of the main valve spool is by hydraulic pressure from the pilot valve.